What's going on, Ophugus? How are you guys doing? Hope you're well out there, wherever you are. Welcome to Ophugus and me, Tarot. I appreciate you guys for stopping by here with me today. It is February 4th, 2024. It's 10.17 p.m. and it is Sunday right now. I am. I appreciate all you guys for stopping by and showing love and supporting me in this channel and helping it grow in advance. Thank you so very much. Um, yeah, I do Oracle Index and three decks. And if you are new, welcome. Appreciate you. And I uh, hope you guys had a good day today. I got called off from work, so I went back to sleep. I mean, as soon as I put on the thing on uniform and when the call comes through, I'm like, really? <laughs> you couldn't have called me like 20 minutes ago. But anyway, it's all good. I took advantage of that and got some rest. And I slept literally all day. So. You know, I just got finished with my reading of the Bible, I'm watching a video on YouTube, and I say, you know what, let me do this reading now. It's about that time. So guys, I'm going to use the Starseed Oracle today. See what vibrations we pick up on there, and see what storyline comes along with it. One more time. Wow. Okay, at the bottom it says the cosmic heart. It says devotion, potency, make your life a moving prayer. Okay. Stay connected. Now here we have the void. It says stop. Embrace winter. We're here. Okay. Great cosmic womb. It's raining in California right now. I always put it way over yonder. Okay. The void. Okay. Let's see if I can find it here. All right. Okay. So it says, guys, here. Stop. Embrace winter. Great cosmic womb. Everything and nothing exists in the void. It's where all life begins and ends. It's the winter and the womb, the fertile darkness where all things originate and all seeds grow. Con comforting and intimidating, freeing and daunting. It can feel both overwhelmingly small and huge. The void is where faith lives. The message of the void is to surrender to the unknown, to allow the fertile darkness of nothingness to nourish the new seeds growing within you. Regardless of whether you know what they'll one day become, you're being called to surrender to the mystery of what's next, to rest, and to allow the winter of your life to do the work for you. To hand over your control and trust that just because you can't see what's happening beneath the surface, it doesn't mean things aren't at work. The greatest weavings happen when we find a way to surrender and trust that our life is being knitted for us right beneath the surface in ways known and unknowable. Now is the time to cultivate faith and allow deep, deep rest. The void often surfaces the end of a chapter or life phase. When we're 
called to let go of all that we know and identify with. When you're in the void, it can feel scary and as if you should be doing something. However, when this card appears, it's a sure sign that the most productive thing to do is relinquish, con relinquish control and surrender to the changing mystery of your life. Okay. <laughs> well, well, well. Out of the darkness comes light and life. Life is a mystery. Relinquish control. All right. Let's see what we get out of that. What's going on? What's going on? One more time. All I want to do is have some fun. I have a feeling I'm not the only one. Show girl. One more time. I don't even know if one came out. <laughs> one more. They want to marry you. One more. You have a heavy heart at this time. Maybe a little uh, just unsure about what's going on in your life. Maybe you're not feeling like you could see the light at the end of the tunnel. That's why I said your life is like a walking prayer or something of that. Or make life a walking prayer or something like that. Stay connected, guys. These times are very mm, pressing. Unpredictable, you know, all types of, uh, that type of uncertain, like, type energy. Okay. Stay prayed up, guys. Stay close to God. All right. Ask for strength, because we definitely need it. In these crazy times. One more. Next. There are no competitors around you, okay? You're in a category all by yourself. You are you. No others are like you. One more. Somebody needs rehab or therapy. <clears throat> Pray for them. I think they'll be okay. Even if it's you, like you just feel like you need to talk to somebody because things are just so pressing and you know, disappointing, or you know, you don't know what happened, what where you went wrong, what's going on. 
you're you're very normal. It's okay. We all need to talk to somebody every once in a while about things, you know, that may be going on frustrating us. <clears throat> Okay, here's the last. Stack here. One more time. Missing a loved one at this time. One more. Oh, balling. All right. I think that what all of us would love to be balling. Not a worry or a care at all of the dinero we need. One more time. <laughs> <clears throat> Maybe some of you are already set like that. Um, you play tennis. All right, let's see what we have here. That incense is about to be over that fast, so let me light another one. And let's start the reading we have here. They are love sick over you. Don't be mad. Be yourself. You could be a pediatrician or would like to be. Can't redo what's been done. You have a secret crush. Not to be trusted energy out here. Only the strong survive, my loves. Yes. Someone is a little spoiled and entitled. You got the keys to the city. Because you stay prayed up and not worrying about much. They don't love me like you do. Someone is insecure. Time to make plans. Holistic methods, 100% all natural. Golden star. Don't apologize for being you. There's a third party involved. You're feeling a little bothered or annoyed. But tell them, don't get it twisted. Chapter 1, verse 7, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, and fools despise wisdom and instruction out of the Proverbs. They have control issues. They will not get away with this. You like In-N-Out burgers? You have enthusiastic energy, and keep that in the times of, even when it's hard, try your best to Pull on the positive. Yeah, and stay grounded and through the, in the uncertainty. And, and relinquish your control and just let God move you. Okay? People are shocked and baffled. Um, and they just can't figure you out. They're not supposed to. What you will do to follow love you tried everything but you won't give up that's bobby caldwell mr mrs and miss and thank you nobody disrespects you 100 percent. they are bogus and counterfeit high vibes only your in-laws are in town someone's determined to make you theirs you're into sewing. Tapped into some great energy. Wish upon a star. 
you are a star dermatologist educated and successful you're evolving or it's time to <laughs> take control of the situation without a doubt old neighborhood friends no alterations are needed here challenges will not stop you you like iced coffee self-esteem may need a boost surrender to the powers that be yes caution beware of those fake people out there question it i'm just saying be sure you speak many languages thinking about generations well after you customer service representative doors are about to open for you volunteer time you aren't the same person that they knew no is no we learn from one another don't we someone's a little arrogant walking like you talk it though the mask is still on someone's name starts with the letter f divine timing is at play always no sugar golden no time for that Ooh, wedding bills netflix and chill at his place okay no such thing as a coincidence you're a dance instructor life is good no matter how crazy it is because it will be smooth sailing from here. Nothing but smooth sailing tonight. Let me go get out of there. Hold on, guys. You see. Okay, let's get this here. Let's get this here. What type of language you must be? Okay, so <laughs> let's get this here reading started. I have to go grab the door deck. As I said, doors are about to open. Okay. And so, yes, let's grab this here um, unfolding path deck for sure. And let's see here. I don't know why I want to grab this deck, but I want to grab this deck. So, let's see what we have here. All right, Afikis. Let's see what we get here. All right. Challenges won't stop you. Period. If someone's love sick, love sick over you. That's the first part out. I don't know. What that's about. We got wedding bills, and at the bottom, they want to marry you. Okay. No, no. Smooth sailing from here, though. Thinking about generations will after you. You could be a little bothered by some things that aren't going your way. Maybe you're only a customer service rep and you're like, you see something great for your future. You don't know how you're going to get there. Well, you got to surrender to the powers that be. Some of you are educated and successful. Whichever way it goes, you're all golden stars. Okay. We all derive from that dark space of the void. All right. And made our way here. So don't be mad. Be yourself. Don't ever apologize for being yourself. Keep enthusiastic energy. Stay grounded. High vibes only, guys. That's how you have the keys to the city because you are staying connected with the most high power. Only the strong survive, guys. All right. So, yeah, take control of the situation. Walk it like you talk it. I'm questioning. I'm just saying, be sure. Self-esteem may need a boost. No sugarcoating, nothing. Hey, someone's insecure. They will not get away with this. Okay, time to make some plans. Maybe going holistic. Getting away from a lot of the extras that they have here life is good no such thing as a coincidence and it's always about evolving all right here we go one more time here we go Ooh. 
the hermit. The star. It's there. You're the star. Okay. Don't forget that you're the star. You know, you have to go into that space sometimes and sit in darkness to remember that, you know, you are that star. You've had some problems or some issues lately, some burdens, some things that's been heavy. And it's falling right there on top of Golden Star. It's falling right there. There's Golden Star right here. And she's struggling with this here bag of wands. She's struggling. Pulling up all these things. Something's heavy. With the two of swords in reverse. You see something clear as day. You understand something clear as day. You're not blindfolded by blindfolded by anything. There's no difficult there's no difficult decisions that you have to make or anything like that. It's just that you're carrying a lot of stuff on your shoulders. Okay. Don't apologize for being you. They can't figure you out third party. Okay. You can't redo what's been done. Kind of like, like I said, you kind of see it for what it is. Okay. Here you have the page of cups. It says you have a secret crush. Or maybe you're secret. I don't know. Maybe you have a secret crush. Or maybe you are someone's secret crush. <clears throat> I don't know. What that little page of cups is talking about. And here is an ace of wands. Falling underneath the ten of wands. It says there, wish upon a star. It's falling right on top of Wish Upon a Star and Surrender to the Powers that Be. And people are shocked and baffled because you still have all this enthusiastic energy and you're ready to always put forth, I don't know, your energy, I suppose, here with the Six of Cups. So it talks about reconciliation. And then the sun coming out next, which talks about, you know, things being of a delight, happy energy, um, something being um, in light, uh, illuminated, you know. So it's that, that's why you're not blinded. You see something clear as day. You understand something. Okay. So here with the Six of Cups and you have an action here. It could talk about a reconciliation. It could talk about feeling some sort of nostalgia or something at this time, maybe. Do they have here pediatrician, too? I don't know if the Page of Cups has something to do with little love for children or something like that on an elementary level of things. Not too sure. The Nine of Cups. You have a lot of love. A lot. There's a lot of people that love you. That care for you. That have your back. Mm 
Mm. Nothing but smooth sailing, huh? Because you're taking control of the situation. Not allowing your even if you're bothered or annoyed or the bogus people that are involved, you're not allowing those people to um, intervene with what you have going on or what you have to do. Knight of Swords, you you tell anybody whatever they need to know. Um. It says here, don't get it twisted. You just, <laughs> you'll be ready to tell anybody anything they need to know. <laughs> so I'm here with the hangman with this ten of wands. You've been in some sort of difficult space and it's been difficult, you know, and you've had time to sit and sit in it. You know, I guess you being in that hermit space at the same time, but still having to realize no matter how difficult things get, how uncomfortable they may feel, you had time to also think. Here you have a love like none other with the two of cups situation here. Or just somebody that is uh, really there for you. With the eight of swords in reverse. Um, that talks about, you know, you being like stuck in your mind. So that's not what you are. You're not stuck in your mind constantly uh, in thought about something. You are uh, on some sort of quest here. I have here the Ten of Pentacles. Talks about family. Talks about love. Which talks about just an abundance of greatness. You had the nine, now here's the ten. So in terms of people that you're going to grow and work with and build with and all of that, I guess it will show itself in due time with the knight of wands. Interesting. At the bottom of the tower. Very interesting. So maybe some things that, like I said, seem like they're just not going right. But you, you have to understand that sometimes things have to fall to the wayside. Some things have to be broken down so you can rebuild. So new opportunities can come through. So, so you can see how you got through those tough times or whatever. Kind of all over the place here, though, but the last card that I put down was smooth sailing from here, and this six of swords represents that you know, there's no more rocky waters, no more high tides, just you know, smooth. But it starts out with this burden here. So let's go with this second deck and see what we get. It's really like what I'm getting, you know, is it's like um I don't know if this I don't I don't know. I just saw that the pediatrician has something to do with the children page of cups, you know, sometimes they reference children. But um I'm just gonna say that the small amount um you know, it's just 
You never stop giving yourself love. You never stop caring or catering to yourself. You know that you have this one. You know that you're an amazing person. Okay, but things have just been so crazy and hectic lately. Um, maybe you're thinking about, you know, a love of having a love like none other or being in a relationship to where you can get to attend. Like maybe you've been thinking about those things lately. And who you can build with. Excuse me, or maybe there just is someone that is in your life right now. Okay. And um, there's somebody that you can see yourself building with. Okay. One more time. With the devil coming out. So naturally is the energy that likes to attack. He's on the prowl 24-7 and his little minions. Okay. Mm. Trying to attack and make you feel less than. Okay. Only the strong survive. You got to fight off that energy all the time, guys. Especially in these times, you know, it's a spiritual war. Okay. So with the fool. With the Empress falling out next. You're ready. You're ready for a challenge. You're ready for adventure. You're ready to start doing something okay you could be a mom or would like to be a mom or get married ready to jump into a space with somebody that already has a child not too sure here with the page of wands coming out next and to explore you're ready to explore something with the five of swords that to come out in reverse But you're trying your best not to stress about things. You could be bothered, but you're not. You're not trying. You're trying not to stress about things. With the magician here, you don't want to stress. You just want to keep manifesting. You know, you don't want to stress. You want to manifest. <laughs> but things do hurt a little bit, you know, and it just seems like with the ten of wands. Uh, uh, being first and the ten of swords being second on the second day, it's just like you you're really in a space where you feel like I guess like will there be a way out? Okay, like it's just a lot going on. Okay, but you have to keep one foot in front of the next, guys. You have to. It's like a major test of some sort, okay? Oh, wow. I didn't even know this was at the bottom. You have to stay strong. You have to. All right. So I'm going to use this deck last and see what we get. I appreciate you guys for being here with me today on Afika and Me. Thank you guys so very much for rocking in here with me on Afika and Me, where I do your daily reads. I appreciate you if you're still here with me right now. Thank you guys. Love you guys. Appreciate you guys so very much. Come back and rock with me anytime. Like, share, comment, and subscribe, please. And thank you. And of course, only if you like. I appreciate it all. So here's the last deck. And let's see what we get. One more time.
turn on again. Yeah, so you know, it's just like you just have a lot of responsibility. You know, and uh, you're ready to take flight, jump into something new, ready to produce something, or ready to jump into a relationship with someone, thinking about love, family. But right now, something is just kind of pressing. You got so much on your plate right now. Yeah, you feel like it's really kind of unfair, too. The four swords in reverse. You may be um, not resting. I said that, you know, rest. You're just kind of like just moving along. The queen of swords in reverse. You had the knight of swords. So... You, uh, Knight of Swords, like I said, it was just like you tell anybody whatever you need to tell them. But with the Queen of Swords being a notch above that, um, and in reverse. You just, I guess you don't have to talk about anything. No one's asking you anything. But you, you will tell somebody off in a heartbeat. But you haven't said anything about anything. Or this is, or this line here could be maybe talking about how something was not balanced in terms of your love. And you haven't gotten over that or something like that. And maybe it was just someone that wasn't honest or something. I'm not too sure. With the Seven of Pentacles, I'm going to take it this way. You definitely invested in a lot of different projects, relationships. Just you have put yourself out there in the world. And it just seems like things are just uh, not panning out the way that you really would like them to. Okay, with the Seven of Wands, but don't worry. God is with you, okay? You are protected. And look at there, the strength again at the strength is right here. You just have to be strong, guys, okay? You have to stay strong. The page of wands. You want to explore. You want to do things. And your time will come for you to explore and go down new paths. But right now, you have to finish. Whatever it is that's on your shoulders and whatever it is that you're carrying, just get through that and you'll be all right, okay? I appreciate you guys so very much. Love you guys. Take care. Bye-bye.